Nuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity by Mo Willems One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do today? I'm going to show Amy, then I'll show Meg, and, and... And then I'll show Margo, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Layla, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Toshi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then... And talk, and talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! She was taking it to school. <gasps> Trixie couldn't wait to show Nuffle Bunny to Mrs. Greengrove and all of her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Dun, 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 dun. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Knuffle! 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 And the afternoon was worse. When the school ba bell rang, Mrs. Greengrove returned the Nuffle Bunnies. And the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from the planet Snurp. Ah! At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for bed. But a few hours later... Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, This is not my bunny! Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He said, Can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. Before he even made it down the stairs, bang, bang, the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. And we have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. And neither did Sonia. There was an exchange. And the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. And then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back, at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. The end.